Today we tip off tournament season. Hello everyone and welcome to For These Are My Thoughts. I'm Blake. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's video, I encourage you to please consider subscribing, checking out what we have here on For These Are My Thoughts on social media. It's all in the description below. Our goal here at For These Are My Thoughts is to help you laugh and relax. And the entire month of March, we're going to try and do that with some awesome tournaments because March is a tournament time. It is the, the month of tournaments and it's a month where basketball really does reign supreme with March Madness, with the men's and women's basketball tournaments. And I know that not everybody loves basketball or loves sports. And so we're not going to do anything necessarily basketball related. We're going to do things chips related. So this week we're going to be trying some cl four classic chips varieties. We're going to be trying your classic Lay's potato chip. We're going to be trying your classic nacho cheese Doritos. We're going to be trying the classic Fritos original and Cheetos. So we're going to be trying these chips today. Next week we're going to be trying other types of chips. The same thing the next weekend of March and the same thing the last weekend of March. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss an episode. And comment below what kind of chip you want us to taste test during this March Madness tournament. We'll try our best to get that into the tournaments. As usual, we are going to rank our chips from the best right up here next to the Stone Cold Steve Austin Broken Skull IPA. We're trying to have Stone Cold Steve Austin on the show. That is a uh, goal of mine for this show. To, that would be super fun, super awesome. Um, but we're going to rank them on a scale again of best to worst. So let's stop wasting time and let's dig into the classic Lay's potato chip. Get a nice little I thought it would have like a puff of air, but it did not work out that way. Um, but your classic Lay's potato chip, again, like the bag is half full. Um, if you can see in the bag there, it's about half full. Um, but here is just your classic Lay's chip. These are good. My big, biggest bugaboo about Lay's potato chips is that they're kind of, th they're so thin, they're so airy that I don't really feel like I'm getting any substance out of it. They're also really salty. A little fact about Lay's is that Lay's potato chips come in over 200 flavors. You can get them like, like there's uh, sour cream and onion, sour cream and cheddar. Uh, there's like the ridged Lay's, right? There's a whole bunch of different varieties. Some of the varieties are based simply on the region that you live in. Others are based on the country that you live in. But there's lots of different varieties. Um, again, this is not my favorite. Like, look at how paper thin. You can, I can see through this into the prompter, and I can read <laughs> what is on the prompter behind you, behind the camera here. Um, just kind of boring. I'm going to put those there. And I'm going to move on next to the Doritos. Now, this is my wife's favorite chip. She loves Doritos. Mmm. Um, now, Doritos, if you did not know this, Doritos were invented at Disneyland by the people that um, owned Fritos or owned Fritos. So Fritos and Lay's used to be competitors, and now they are in a nice, happy marriage. Um, and Doritos came out of that. So Doritos were actually um, allegedly made in Disneyland over in California. Um, the the Lay's or the the Frito chips uh, had their own restaurant, and the Dorito idea came to someone that was working there who didn't want to have to throw out the day old tortillas that were stale in the company's eyes. And so he would take them, he would cut them up into triangles, and he would throw them in a fryer. And so they were sold. They were not nacho cheese. They had no flavor at all at first. Um, but now they come in, again, a wide variety of flavors. You can get nacho cheese, Cool Ranch, uh, spicy limon, flaming hot, taco, uh, spicy nacho. There's so many different types. You can get them in 3D now, which is kind of wild. Um, but here we go, the classic Dorito. Oh, look at that. That is a nice chip. Some nice little waves in there from being fried.
Hmm. Hopefully you heard that little crunch noise. The little... When I took that first bite. That's when you know it's a good bag of Doritos, right? When it's like... Mmm. No, these are good. Mmm. The problem that I've noticed with Doritos recently is that sometimes they're not coated evenly. Like this one, if you can see, is not coated with a ton of, of things on it, a ton of cheese on it. Oh, yeah, like this, right? Look at the difference in this chip, not a lot of coating, and this one that has a ton of cheese coating on it. Um, that's the only, I guess, problem with Doritos. I think Doritos are better than your, your classic Lay's uh, potato chips. Um, they are actually less calories for one of these than your normal Lay's potato chips. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're healthier. There's less calories. Um, but I will put these, I'll switch it with Fritos for right now. And we'll move on to, uh, actually we're going to move on to Cheetos. <laughs> because we're going to go from one cheese to the other. Now, Cheetos... Again, a product of the Frito-Lay Corporation. Um, these are crunchy Cheetos. I don't know if they make classic Cheetos anymore. You can't get them in the little variety packs, which is where I got these chips because I'm cheap. But here's a Cheeto. You know, they come in little tubular shapes. I don't really know why they have the name uh, Cheeto, but Cheetos require 5,000 cows a year to make the cheese for these Cheetos. The process is that the 5,000 cows produce about 11 million gallons of milk, which in turn makes about 10, or 10 million pounds of cheese, which then calculates to about 2,200 gallons of milk per cow. So cows produce a lot of milk for Cheetos. Uh, which is kind of wild. Don't tell PETA. They'll get, they're probably already upset. Who are we kidding? Okay. Now, I don't really like Cheetos. Um, because it makes me feel like I'm eating packing peanuts. I also recently saw a video that we may try to imitate. Not for these are my thoughts. But I recently saw a video where a woman takes different types of Cheetos and like puts them into boiling water and they like instantly disintegrate. And that is not really like something that I jive with. <laughs> that makes me feel really uncomfortable eating Cheetos. Um, and so even though it says that you can connect with Chester Cheeto, uh, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be putting him in the three spot. They are better than Lay's. I would definitely eat these before Lay's. These are good in things like the munchies. That's a type of chip uh, mix where you get some Doritos, some Cheetos, some Bugles, pretzels, da da da. Uh, that's, that's good, but I don't really like these on their own, but I like them better than Lay's. So I'm going to put this in the three spot here. And next up we have Fritos, which is older. I did not know this until today. Older than Doritos. Because yes, as I mentioned, the Frito brand uh, was not always with the Lay's brand. They used to be competitors. And back when they were competitors... Uh, the man that uh, started the Frito brand, the Frito chips, I don't know how, but he weaseled his way, conned his way uh, into Disneyland to start a restaurant in Disneyland when it first opened. So Fritos were founded in 1932, uh, and Disneyland opened in 1955, and they had a restaurant for Fritos, which then, of course, led to Doritos. When I think of chips, I don't usually think of Fritos. When I think of Fritos, I think of walking tacos, where you put some taco meat in here. That's probably what I'm going to do with this after I record today. Turn this into a nice walking taco with some leftovers Hannah and I have. Mm. But I do like Fritos. I think that they're really good. They have these at you know concession stands. They also have different flavors of this, which I did not know, uh, like barbecue or chili, uh, flaming hot. Um, which is kind of, I mean, there's Flaming Hot everything, it seems, nowadays. So people need to cool it on the hot sauce, all right? For these are my thoughts. But here's a Frito. They're good. 
Again, these are original, so they're just really salty. I kind of like that in this. Like I said, I didn't like it in the in the Lay's. But this is salty and it tastes like it's a corn chip. And so it tastes better to me than just like, I love potatoes, but potato chips aren't really cutting it for me. Um, but these are, again are made of corn. Uh, I actually learned today that it's a special type of corn, a hybrid type of corn that uh, Frito-Lay's grows. Uh, and that Frito's, when it was originally just the Frito's brand that they grew, um, that makes these, these uh, Frito chips. And they're good, but I don't know. Are they better than Little Brother Doritos? I'm not so sure. <clears throat> for one, well, I suppose you probably get more bang for your buck in here. This is 160 calories, again, for one of these smaller bags, and it's 150 calories for one of these Dorito bags. Now, that's probably because you get less Doritos than you get of Fritos and Cheetos and Lay's, but <clears throat> I just don't think you can get past that. Awesome flavor. You can, this isn't part of the episode or the taste test necessarily. I guess I'm making it part of it now. Um, but you can't really dip a Frito in anything very well. You can probably get it on your fingers. You're going to be Greg. And as we talked about in the, uh, <laughs> the chip dip episode for the big game, um, you cannot like, like you don't want Greg in there with his fingers. Don't be Greg. And this chip's going to make you Greg. Whereas a Dorito, you have a little bit more control and they come out and it's like a little easier to scoop. All right. Yeah. I'm coming to my decision. Fritos are good. Really good. They're going to go in the three, in the two spot. The winner of our first day of tournaments for chips is Doritos. Of course it's Doritos. Oh, so they'll go right up here. Will they sit nice? Oh, they will. Is Doritos. I encourage you. You've probably all had Doritos. And maybe you have a different opinion on them. Let me know in the comments below. Um, but Doritos are far superior than these chips. It's not that these chips are bad in any way. Potato chips are just kind of boring. Um, but they are clearly head and shoulders, in my opinion, above Cheetos and Lay's. Fritos, I think, are close. But, again, like, little brother made older brother look kind of bad in this situation. So if you enjoyed today's episode, I encourage you, again, to please hit the subscribe button, hit like, share the episode with a friend. Uh, next week, I have some friends on, some guests with me, that are going to help me decide the best flaming hot chip. So thank you again so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Until next time, these are my thoughts. I'll see you soon. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, please give us a like if you enjoyed the video today. Uh, you can subscribe hitting the circle button, or you can click the box to watch more for These Are My Thoughts episodes. Thanks so much again. I'll see you soon.